I thought of retiring my helmet for the simple reason that I found a new one. Well, I needed a helmet that could, uh, where I could put my camera in front without having to uh, block the vent like I did on this one. And I want to get rid of a uh, GoPro adapter as well. So for that reason, I just bought this one. I just got it today. So with the magic, I will open that box. And what we have here, we have, I'm gonna just put the camera a, bit, a little bit more down. We have the Bandit helmet. With the Bandit comes the bill, got a voucher. Okay, where were we? Bandit helmets. Uh, Bandit is a company that started in 1997, so over 20 years ago. And they launched uh, one of the first helmets. And now you can find Bandit Fighter, matte black, as you see, I can ride it in Europe, it's EC approved, um, they have DOT approved helmets and also Snell helmets that they, they made, so I think they just got it approved in 2017. That helmet is, uh, as you see, is 1.3 kilo heavy. Plus minus gram, it's quite light. If we compare it to the other one, it's uh, it's actually the same size. It's the same size. I thought it would be a little bit smaller, but no, it's actually the same size. Um, why did I choose the Bandit Fighter? The first reason is this in front. As you can see, it's quite flat. I can put the GoPro and I don't need to uh, come down one of the vents. Uh, what I like as well is inside, I can plug my two, uh, if you see here, I can plug my, the two microphones here and here. Um, it has a fast release, which is, uh, really cool the inside is uh, cotton 100% cotton so you can take everything out and uh, wash it and uh, I'm gonna just transform it to uh, to my likings so I will make a video on uh, when it will when it's transformed so this is for you the Bandit helmet, Bandit fighter. They have a few others, they have uh, open helmets and uh, so as I say what I like about it, it's the visibility is quite nice, the visor is quite snug, the soundproofing is quite uh, good as well, you don't hear much. Um, if I have some minus about that helmet it's uh, I'm missing a sun visor but I will shift the visor in front and put a darker one is instead so I will show you the helmet once it's uh, finished again last look here we go unveiling of the bandit fighter motovlogging uh, helmet Damn! 
so as you can see in front I placed the GoPro um, holder um, on the side I placed my Sina it's a SMH 10R the battery is placed on the back I just uh, left a uh, good space uh, so that uh, I don't cover the um, ECE logo or sticker I actually changed the visor with a darker one place as well some bandit stickers on the visor so that uh, if I don't remember which helmet, uh, helmet it is uh, then I know um, as you can see I didn't put the mic adapter for the GoPro because uh, I don't think it fits the line of the helmet and uh, uh, for my on my opinion it's uh, just um, so I decided to go with a Tascam uh, DR05 instead meaning that I don't have so much cables in the helmet first of all and uh, number two I can ride it uh, as a take it as an everyday helmet well you might notice as well the stickers on uh, the racing stickers on the helmet this is actually an easter egg for one of my future video so keep tuned and if you didn't do it already just punch that uh, skull on the bottom uh, right of your screen and if you are watching the video on a mobile subscribe with the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you soon i will get my motorcycle actually on uh, next week on wednesday so today is sunday so i'm uh, one two three days i will make a new video where i go and get my motorcycle from winter thanks for watching bye bye